you want to tell me that if I want to expand this photo, for example, like this, and I want to fill this with Photoshop's new AI generative fill and just say generate, like the Photoshop will know what to put there, like my photo manipulation will just magically extend. Let's see. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Not bad, not as good, but not bad. We can work on this and make it crazy good, but I really love already the scene got crazy new feeling, but I have three different versions. Oof, this one is much better. This one is not bad either. So like, see, like it's somewhere outside, like the top of a volcano or I don't know. This is crazy. It's non-destructive also. Wait, let's see what happens if I choose I don't know this maybe this one yeah I, I really like this one and let's expand it on the other side let's let's make it 16 by 9 let's make it 16 by 9 like that and this is a crazy big part to fill so let's fill this come on Photoshop let's see what you can do surprise me this this is crazier than I thought in order to use this this is a brand new thing AI implementing the Photoshop name Generative Fill. In order to use this, you need to have a Adobe subscription, Adobe Beta, and it's working like this. So let's see, we have, whoa, this is very bad. Uh, so for example, I don't like it. I will put Generate again. Oof, this is much better. So I have, oh, I have some new things here. See, <laughs> like this is a pool but I like to have more stretch. So this is crazy. I got something that I can totally work with and use my photo manipulation skills and make it even better than this is right now. But, oh guys, this is mind blowing. So let's try on another photo. Let's try on something else. Let's try on this one, for example. And guys, this is me first time ever doing this. I didn't uh, try this out before recording because I want you to see my first reaction. This is crazy. So. Uh, let's see, let's use again the crop tool and let's expand this a little bit, just a little bit like that. Let's see what Photoshop will do. And this is working based on Adobe stock images and Adobe AI basically doing machine learning based on those stock images and doing things like DALI or Midjourney here directly in Photoshop. This is mind blowing. This will change the way how we edit photos and how we approach everything definitely because it's now implemented in Photoshop and this will be commercially ready. Uh, by that I mean that you will be able to use this for commercial purposes. See this? Let me see. Before and after even made the shadow here and the end of the code. Yeah, it has some artifacts here that I don't like. But the beauty of this is that it gives you three different versions of this. Mm, wow, maybe this is the best. Before and after, yeah, I like this the best. But either if you don't like that, you can also create another set of three versions and try that out. So this is mind blowing. I have totally mixed opinions about this. In one hand, this is amazing and the technology is advancing so fast. And the other way, man, I don't know what to think, but it's crazy. Definitely now it's here. Let's try something else here. I want, let's, let's use this portion here. I want this portion of the floor to have a spider. So. Let's use generative fill, type a prompt here, a small black spider on the floor. And let's see what a Photoshop will do. Again, you need to be creative and you need to be good at typing prompts because you need to tell AI what you exactly want to be there. So don't worry if you don't get it from the first one. See, this is okay, but let's see else. What else we have? Maybe this one. So we have a spider here and the shadows are decent. Okay, let's see just out of curiosity what it will do here. So let's extend this something like that. And I think it will be mess because it's an arm, etc. But let's see. <laughs> Actually not bad. The finger part is really bad, but like it's stretching the arm and it's really strange position of the arm. So before and after, see the arm should go like down there a little bit. Oh, this is even crazier. <laughs> and this is probably the most realistic thing. 
but still so for example i want to extend my photo a little bit i would probably crop here and that would be okay but let's see let's generate it one more time let's see what now photoshop will came up with and basically this is uh, taking a little bit of time it's not even too much of time because photoshop is sending everything online to their servers and doing the, t the job <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> like holding a beer or i don't know smoothie <laughs> this is really crazy so let's <laughs> let's have fun let's let's type it actually holding a beer in in the hand <laughs> let's see what this will be no <laughs> this is <laughs> really crazy guys this is hilarious okay <laughs> let's wait for a moment oh man you need to be definitely creative with typing prompts <laughs> this is crazy totally crazy <laughs> okay <laughs> this is <laughs> maybe this one is the best but <laughs> that's that's hilarious <laughs> maybe let's let's try something else let's let's select the umbrella like this let's see and instead of umbrella let's say holding a, a baguette and that's it just the bread so let's see what this will be if this makes it like almost real <laughs> this is game over so <laughs> this is crazy to be serious now that hand with holding a beer out of that photo it will it, it took me a while <laughs> this is crazy but it's not perfect but this hand here it took me a lot to <laughs> reconstruct this and yeah, the fingers are not perfect and everything but <laughs> this will be better and better so <laughs> this one is cool <laughs> maybe this one is even better so let me show you before come on move move this down where is it it's, <laughs> this is, sorry guys but before and after this is hilarious and i don't know what this guy can hold maybe maybe here maybe this part holding i don't know holding a plate with a, with a chicken <laughs> let's see <laughs> amazing it's it's so fun to do this but we will see how that will actually be in real life for now it's totally free and uh, it's in beta but uh, later photoshop will charge this service in in uh, subscription mode you will get some credit something like that not this is holding <laughs> this is drawing a plate so <laughs> still drawing a plate oh <laughs> this is like like a huge the lamp here but maybe yeah maybe yeah i know i know let's let's undo this and let's say uh let's say hold holding a huge magnifying glass let's see let's see now i didn't have so much fun lately with photoshop i need to confess this it's crazy especially with the baguette and the beer i don't know for me it's funny sorry guys if it's not funny for you but <laughs> this is crazy like Okay, okay, so see this? This is totally nonsense here, what you can do. So <laughs> imagine Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson is, is doing this. So, okay, let's try on another image and we'll call it for today. Let's try on this. This is a little bit more advanced because it's depth here. It has a depth of field, etc. So let's try to expand this and see what Photoshop will create right here. So let's use marquee tool and select this and say generative fill and let's see how photoshop will surprise us with with this i would be really surprised if this is out of focus here and it's some kind of leaves or whatever is right there that i made <laughs> this is crazy guys so ah i cannot comprehend this so see it's totally out of focus and this one is not that good but but see this one it's totally leaning to the ah uh, this is crazy let's go to the other side let's let's just expand here a little bit and do the same <laughs> this is really really crazy thing 
I don't know what to expect, but I'm so thrilled to see how this feature will be used in the future. So uh, not bad, but not so good. This is much better. So this is before, this is after, this is much better. And this is maybe even better, I don't know. So this and this, but it's crazy good. It's, it's really, really good. I'm really happy with this. And this is mind blowing because this is non-destructive also. So you can always go here to the layers and uh, change a few things here and there and uh, do separate edits and whatever you want. This is really, really surprising to me. I honestly, I didn't expect to be that good in a beta, but it's crazy good. So let's see something else. Obviously this can do amazing things by extending our backgrounds and fill it with new things. And as we saw here, this is doing a pretty great job. And let's see if we can change this spaceship for something else. Yeah, this, this works really cool. I really like it, how, how it can extend. But let's see if we can select the spaceship right here with the lasso tool and say generate and instead of this I will just type spaceship just that and let's see how smart the AI is currently this is generating like a mid journey some crazy thing so it's not limited by that maybe maybe this ah oh, crazy thing too Maybe, ooh, this looks cool. And also the light and the shadows is following the original one. So <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. Maybe I will go with this one. Why not? I'm not sure what to think about this, but this is definitely a mind blowing thing that will change the way how we approach photo editing, how we approach creating photo manipulations or imagery touching or whatever. This will definitely change the way of doing things like we did before, because this is the biggest push forward in the Photoshop capabilities and the biggest change in Photoshop history, in my opinion. So it will do some changes, definitely. I'm really curious about your opinion. What do you think about this tool? And uh, what do you think about AI in general? Let me know down there in the comments and see you next week in next fun video. Bye bye.